video I'm going to explain how to read a bubble chart and these are very simple to read once you've read them once. Now, the central problem that a bubble chart is solving is how do you show three different bits of information on a chart that only has two axes? And the third piece of information is shown by the size of the bubbles. So we've got along the bottom this x-axis so we can show time and then up here we've got revenue so that's the second variable and the third variable is indicated by the size of this bubble and the legend here shows that this is staff so the number of employees basically and so let's look at three which is the clearest one to read and we look at the center of the bubble so at time three the revenue is 200 and you can see that the number of staff has grown significantly. You may be able to put a key down here that shows the size of the bubble or have some sizing chart, but it gets somewhat clumsy and a bubble chart isn't ideal for this. So typically bubble charts just show the relative sizes of things. The best illustration of a bubble chart comes from Hans Rosling at Gapminder that do very clever things with bubble charts by using the size of the bubble to indicate the country. For example, China has a very, very large bubble, whereas some tiny little country like Burundi would have a tiny little dot. So that's basically how you read a bubble chart. The bubbles indicate the size of some quantity and you've got X and Y as with a normal graph. So hopefully this video has been helpful to you and thank you for watching.